Hi Aquarius, so this is going to be a reading for October 8th through the 15th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are coming back, welcome back. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius, okay? If you do not have that placement, um, if you don't have any of those placements, make sure that you do check out your correct video so that you do get the message that is tailored for you, okay? Also, if you guys are interested in joining my tarot class or getting a personal reading booked, uh, all the information is going to be listed below. My tarot class is going to be a seven-week program where we are going to go through a lot of different tips and techniques on how I read tarot. So if you're interested, please feel free to hit me up. As of right now, when I'm recording, I have about 50 slots left. So if you are interested in joining, please hit me up before all my slots are gone. It is only $111.11. It's super cheap for a seven-week program, okay? Filled with all the juicy details when it comes to tarot. So please hit me up. You do not want to miss this awesome sale, okay? Especially if you're serious about tarot. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Everything that you need will be listed in the description box. What's going on with my Aquarius for October 8th through the 15th? October 8th through the 15th for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. So a lot of you guys are going to be experiencing some sort of new romance, okay? There's going to be some sort of new romance. Um... That may bring a lot of just playful energy into your life, especially if you haven't had any, you know, time to really have fun lately, okay? Um, I feel like this person is going to definitely bring some youthful energy in, uh, bring some change when it comes to that, okay? Um, also, you guys are going to be receiving a lot of ideas and inspiration when it comes to whatever you're trying to manifest or whatever you want to do in life. Um, you may be like observing other people or just looking at how things work as a whole and it may be just inspiring you to move forward with your actions. Okay. And you may be like really wanting to put focus in this, like really, really like drawn to it. Okay. But nonetheless, I am seeing that balance is going to be coming in for you guys. You just need to make sure that you're not holding on to anything energetically that does not serve you, especially if it's holding you back or holding you down, okay? And that could be even with this new love or just with situations, period. You need to stop letting things hold you down, okay? But um, yeah, I am seeing that celebrations are going to be coming in for some of you guys. You guys are going to be celebrating some sort of accomplishment for others of you, just your growth as a person, just where you came from as a whole. You're just going to be celebrating that and just accepting yourself for all your flaws and just being like, fuck it. Like <laughs> I'm my own person, you know, what's going on with my Aquarius is for October 8th the 15th october 8th through the 15th for my sun moon rising and venus aquarius aquarius for october 8th through the 15th okay so yeah so this came right back out so a lot of you guys are really helping children around you if you have siblings or you are a parent of your own you need to make sure that you're teaching your children manners also just um Things about their culture, things about themselves, like just getting to know your child so that they can get to know themselves, if that makes sense. Like, make sure that you're actively working with them. And I feel like you guys are doing that anyway, so I don't really have to tell you guys that, but just make sure you're really tending to them, okay? Because your life purpose is definitely involving some sort of situation with a child. I keep seeing that for some of you guys, okay? Okay. Also, for others of you who may be taking some sort of classes or you may be a teacher, I am seeing something about teachers, okay? Uh, your children definitely need you, so don't give up if you feel like you're underappreciated when it comes to maybe your teaching style or the way that you do things. Um, you need to continue going because you are helping a lot of children, You also need to practice this law of attraction work. Keep your thoughts in a positive place so that positive situations can come in for you, okay? Success is here, guys. I keep seeing that also. Success is definitely here. But um, I feel like you do need to stay focused 
on the end goal, guys. And also try to journal if you are having difficulty um, expressing how you feel, okay? For some reason, I got super sick just now. I don't know what's going on with you guys. I don't know what's going on with you guys. I energetically do not like it. Um, I'm going to try to finish this reading because I don't know where my lighter is. But um, I felt super sick just now. I don't like that. <laughs> so what's going on with you guys uh give me some affirmations for my aquarius for october 8th through the 15th october 8th through the 15th what are some affirmations i can pass on to my aquarius for october 8th through the 15th october 8th through the 15th okay actually no that's way too many Give me some affirmations for my Aquarius. Okay, I'll take that one. Give me one more. Okay. Okay, so I have, I prioritize raising my vibration. And this says, be bold and make a conscious decision to focus on positivity, which in turn raises your vibration. This positive vibration will then attract more positive opportunities and experiences. It is a win-win situation. So what did I say? You guys need to practice that law of attraction work, okay? You have to. You have to keep your thoughts in a positive place and keep yourself from negative situations, okay? And then I also have, I trust my journey. It says, move forward in life with the certainty that you are on a journey that is headed in a positive direction. When you are hold, wait, when you hold steadily to your vision, understand that reaching the final destination will be worth it. The roadmap of life is ever changing and leading you towards your destiny. Okay? So understand that you just need to go down the path and just experience life. You need to just experience it. And we have my peace is protected as the last card. It says, Imagine a bubble of protection surrounding you. This bubble is a safe space as a consistent environment where you can maintain your peace. Relaxation will come naturally for your mind to be clear and focused. Accept a life of peace and serenity. So there you go. There you go. So definitely take that with you for that week, Aquarius, okay? So let's see what's going on with your love lives. What's going on with my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Aquarius's love lives for October 8th through the 15th. October 8th through the 15th. What's going on with my Aquarius's love lives? for that week Aquarius is love lives for October 8th through the 15th October 8th through the 15th please for my Aquarius so I have separation that flew out um new love okay and keep an open mind and the bottom of the deck I do have retreat so everybody's dealing with these secretive ass relationships oh my god but yeah, there is some sort of separation here. Um, some of you guys are separating from one person and jumping into a new relationship, okay? Um, but I feel like this new person that may be coming in may be different than your usual type or your expectations. This person may be same sex for some of you guys. For others of you, this person may be just different. Uh, you may like somebody with brown hair. This person may have red hair. Like, it just may be differences, Okay. Um, I feel like there's a secretive relationship. If it's not secretive, if you're not trying to keep it secretive, uh, this person may be. Um, I feel like this person is trying to see, like trying to play it safe until they know that it's safe for them to open up. But there is some red flags that you do need to pay attention to. And you do need to make sure that you or this person is opening up when it comes to emotions. Okay. So let's do a spread. Let's see what's popping. What's going on with my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Aquarius's cross, I mean, not cross watcher. Uh, what's going on with my Aquarius's sun, moon, rising, and Venus for October 8th through the 15th. October 8th through the 15th for my Aquarius's. October 8th through the 15th. Give me a five card spread, please. So some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be just somebody who comes in and out and offers you love. And then like the next second they pull back. OK, um, you also may be extending a love offer or getting one. OK, but um, I feel like somebody may be juggling or you may need to weigh some things out as far as this relationship. What's going on? My Aquarius is for October 8th through the 15th.
Okay, bottom of the deck, I do have the chariot. So definitely cancer energy. Um, you guys could be dealing with the cancer. Um, but I have cancer. Oh, cancer. I have the chariot, the four of pentacles, and the eight of cups. Or eight of chalices in this deck, excuse me. So I feel as if you guys are moving on, like really pushing past any sort of adversities that you've experienced. And some of y'all are just taking your car and going. Um, some of you guys have been saving up your finances so that you could really walk away from situations that make you unhappy, whether it's a person, place, or thing, okay? But um, you guys are really just pushing forward, uh, especially if you're dealing with people who are not opening up or just something that you were holding on that just didn't even make you happy, okay? You just felt really trapped to it, but you weren't seeing it for the right perspective from the right perspective or you weren't um actually understanding that you could release yourself from it okay especially if you are married but you guys are coming into the week as the nine of swords so really in your head staying up late at night some of you guys thinking about a legal case for others of you thinking about a mother yeah, also for some of you guys, it could be a relationship, but I feel like you guys are really focused on your finances um, or some of you guys really want to be financially free, but money's moving kind of slow, okay? Um, what I'm seeing in the past, I do have the nine of wands clarified by the ten of chalices. So you were really trying to work through some things, maybe within a family situation where... There may have been a lot of things that transpired within the relationship, but you were still trying to push forward, okay? Also, you may have been hesitant to move forward within a relationship period because of what you've experienced or uh, what took place in your life. But I did, or I did, I do see that you guys did have some sort of happy changes going on in a family situation, okay? Um, and a lot of healing energy. What I'm seeing for the guidance, though, I do have the hangman clarified by the nav of wands. So I feel like you need to see a situation from the right perspective. You may not be seeing it from the right perspective when it comes to maybe an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo or creative endeavor for some of you guys. Yeah, strong fire sign energy. Yeah, I feel like you guys need to see it from the right perspective because if you don't, it's just going to keep lingering. <laughs> it's going to keep lingering. It's going to be in the back of your head always. And you're just going to keep sacrificing your own mental thoughts. Also, you need to make sure that you're not dealing with a situation where um, there's some nasty things being said behind somebody's back or something, okay? Okay. But the focus and reason, I do have the Knight of Wands. So clarifying the Knight of Wands, I do have the Three of Wands. So I feel as if the focus is to actually have somebody who is going to be constant. For some of you guys, you're sick and tired of dealing with the just sex relationships. For others of you, people who just come in and out. And you just want to look towards the future. Even though you don't know what's coming in, you're trying to stay hopeful. You're trying to wait and stick it out um and wait till some things just happen for you transpire okay um what i'm seeing for the potential outcome i do have the three of chalices clarified by the two of pentacles so you're definitely dealing with somebody who you're reconciling with but they're still juggling energy somebody's still juggling or still trying to weigh some things out and i feel like you really need to come to an end of dealing with people betraying you and you just need to let spirit take control because there's just a lot of things going on. You may have put a lot of effort and time into a situation and you're looking at it and you're just like, what did I really get out of this? Or what am I going to finally, you know, be able to say that this was worth it? Uh, and you may need to really heal some things internally, okay? So let's see what's going on with the Cross Watcher. If you guys are interested in checking out the extended version, joining my class, or booking a reading, all the information will be in the description. What's going on with my Aquarius is cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with for October 8th through the 15th. October 8th through the 15th. What's going on with my Aquarius is cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with for October 8th through the 15th. October 8th through the 15th for my Aquarius is cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with. Please and thank you. So this person wants to take a leap of faith. Um, this person may also be homeless. I don't know where this is coming from, okay? Somebody out here is homeless, okay? Somebody wearing Uggs during this time of year? Who's wearing Uggs? It's, oh, it must be cold where y'all stay. 
yeah there's ice back here so you may stay in a colder area this person may stay in a colder area doesn't matter somebody's wearing uggs and they're homeless okay i don't know what that has to do with anything okay but um i am seeing that this person's wanting to take a leap of faith with you i feel like this person just be dressing however they want what's going on guys I'm, this person's wardrobe okay i have nothing against people's wardrobe this is specifically for somebody out there guys but nonetheless if that part is not for you i am seeing that this person wants to take a leap of faith and get some sort of happy changes with you and communicate um i feel like they also may travel to you like really like pack up their stuff and like just say okay forget my stuff i'm gonna come to you and we're gonna work this out okay um they may take their time with this they may not rush and do this okay i feel like this person may have some things that they need to work out you could be dealing with a sagittarius taurus libra uh cancer pisces scorpio aries whoever okay but um yeah there's some things that this person needs to make a decision about they feel like they don't have enough information also there's some sort of legal case or some sort of legal situation for some of you guys that this person's keeping secret whoa if i can get the card what the heck what the heck aquarius yeah, this person may be trying to manifest some justice within the situation, but I feel like they're trying to use their intuition. And there's also some situation that's toxic going on with their work, okay? Also, they feel like this may also be a little toxic as far as, like, trying to fix some things within it. Um, They may want the justice, they may want the balance, but they know that there's some things being kept under the surface. Uh, Somebody's doing something at work, okay? If you're dealing with a cancer they having sex at work okay book a reading with me if you want to know more about that okay but um yeah we're gonna finish this off on the other side guys thank you guys so much for joining me i hope that that reading resonated with you and that you were able to take something from it please make sure that you like comment and subscribe and i will see you later aquarius bye